Welcome back to the latest episode of Smack Talk. Welcome back to the latest episode of Smack Talk. Uh, it's been, hey, it's been, it's been a while <laughs> since I sat here on my own and basically talked to nobody. Uh, it's very strange. I'm only used to someone sitting over here and like chatting to you and getting it back and forth. Actually, I was looking there before I just started this. The last solo Smack Talk was the 14th of December, which was four months ago. Like, can you believe it's been four months? Like, it's been four months basically since that, you know, that Christmas lockdown came in. Oh, oh. Time's, it's actually scary how quick that time's gone past, and all honesty with you, that's actually terrifying. But, uh, actually, I threw up a QA and a on Instagram, was like, do people want to see a return, of, return of the smack talk solo cast, yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you just want to see a return of it? And the the answer was a resounding yes, which actually surprised me, to be honest. I quite enjoy doing the, the guest ones and stuff like that, so... Uh, 50% of this week was, I suppose, laziness, not getting a guest on, and the other 50% was give the people what they want, and here I am. Uh, <laughs> I got some questions and stuff in as well, so thanks to everyone that sent those in, I'll get flying into those, and just call them throughout as well. Um, in terms of, like, how this is going to work, it's probably just going to be, like, I don't know, remember the last Smack Talk used to be, like, 10 minutes, rattle through everything, and, like, upload and away sort of thing, but, I don't know, this could be longer, it could be shorter, um... As I said, it's been a while. I'm sitting here in my jean shorts because it's an absolute wonder day outside. It's a day for the taps off, to be truly honest with everybody. Um, it's actually the first bit of sunny weather we've had in Northern Ireland since um, since last summer. When I was sitting doing these, I would sit in my room every week and go, oh, it's a class day outside. I was better get this wrapped up so we'll get outside. And now, now we're back at that stage. It's actually, it's just so terrifying how like quickly the last years went. Like, I'm trying to think, like, I've done, I've obviously done things, and, you know, I've uh, started a new job and stuff there as well, and been on the grind of this, but I'm just thinking, them four months since Christmas have absolutely just whizzed by, absolutely whizzed by, and in terms of uh, the podcast and stuff, and people coming on, like, the guests have been flying on, and thanks to absolutely everybody that's came on so far, like, I've honestly had so much fun with every single guest that's come on, uh, having people sitting here in person too, and having people just to chat to, you know, over like a podcast just makes things so 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 much easier and i would have to say like out of all the guests that i've had on so out of all the guests i've had on so far i would definitely say my favorite so far has been now out of all them I, like I've, i'm thinking of the guests before but out of all the guests that i've had on so far i'd say my favorite has been nah <laughs> i'm not gonna do that i actually i genuinely mean when i say this like all of them have been just as good as each other and i've honestly had such a nice time talking to everybody uh but sure, it's the age of the internet now, and absolutely every single person in the world has a podcast, it feels like, at this moment in time. But I'm trying to, I'm wondering if it's going to be like, a, you know, this is like this, I'm hoping this is the final lockdown. Is this just like, you know, the peak, peak of boredom and no one else? Like, after the things open up again, people will probably tailor off. Because I remember at the first lockdown, like, people were starting YouTube channels and, like, uh, help me, like, do, like, them, like, fashion, like, pages and all, and, like, uh, style my outfit today, like, all that malarkey and a load of them have tailored off in furnace so who knows <laughs> who knows but it's just it's just funny because so many people have started podcasts and like it's strange because i'm sitting here obviously i have my own podcast but people are like i can't be the only one that just thinks most a lot of podcasts are the same like everyone's doing everyone at the minute i'm not talking bad everyone's doing fitness and motivational stuff at the minute and like i know that's a big sector at the minute but i don't know I think personally, like it's it's good to mix it up. I try my best with my guests to have on, you know, because it is so easy to get fitness people on because there is so many of them. I try to mix it up. Like there last week, I had Kevin on, who's a journalist, or like uh, I'm trying to think who else. I had Ryan on, who was like motivational, but a different type of motivational. If he's if he's getting, I mean, I had Emma on, who talked all about like uh, modern events within like being a woman in modern society and stuff like that and male uh, toxic masculinity i finally learned how to say that word i was watching that podcast back the other day and it was like male toxic toxicity you know, it just made himself look like a tube <laughs> but yeah i try i try to like as a best i can sort of you know mix up the guests and stuff like that and if you ever have any recommendations please let me know because helps me out uh and if you ever want to come on again my podcast is always open to everybody there's nobody i'm not not down one niche i talk to anybody i'm literally that guy that like do at table is like i will argue with anybody over anything that's just me but i'll talk to anybody about anything <laughs> so yeah if he's ever interested fling just send me over a dm and we'll, we'll get it sorted out we'll get it set up but uh yeah good good to be back 
I feel like see in my pot see whenever I have the guests and stuff on, it's really strange because it's obviously it's my podcast, but I invite them on, so I want to listen to what they have to say. Like I don't want to sit and listen to like you're not you're not tuning in really to listen to me. You're listening to my guests. Does that make sense? I feel like I feel like sometimes when I do these podcasts, because you're having like these big personalities on, it's sort of like you sort of feel like I listen back and be like, Flip, did I really even talk that much in that podcast? I think that's a I think personally it's a good thing because at the end of the day, they're here to tell a story or like, you know, have like something they sort of wanna, you know, have this like event or like take on life they want to talk about and sure my job at the end of the day is just to let them go do it. You know, you don't really need to sit there and be like I don't know. It I think it's hard to explain what I'm on about because it's like you just I listen back sometimes and be like, Flip, I hardly spoke a word. And like, you know, in the end of the day, it is my podcast, but I'm just so interested in what other people have to say that like, I think that's what makes it, that's what everyone's feedback has been so far. It's like, it's really good to be able to listen. I guess people's feedback have been so far. I mean, it's good that you don't flip and talk. (laughs) Which is a bit bizarre, but at the same time, it's like, you get these podcasts and like, especially, uh, there's a few, I'm not going to like say names, but there's a few like fitness ones I've listened to. And like, the person hosting it will have a guest on and they just ramble on the whole time it's like mate let your guest get a word in you know what i mean i think i'm right i'm going off top i don't want to slate any other podcast i'm very supportive and i also would like to see especially in like the local area that i'm in like people have podcasts uh other people invite other people on the podcast like you're not going to steal their audience you're going to you know grow each other's by you know if they're a fan of you and what your podcast is they'll be a fan of the other person's you know what i mean and I'd actually, if you do have your own podcast and you listen to this, I'd love to, love to like have you on or invite me on. And we'll like work something out. I think that'd be a lot of fun. But yeah, I think I've rambled on enough about there on an intro of a load of nothing and how it's just weird the world is and whatever. It's it's very strange doing these again because you've got no one to talk to. And as I just spoke about there for a couple of minutes, like I don't talk that much during my podcast, which is really really weird. But um, yeah, I'll get into some of the topics that I lined up here. So let me just see what I had written down here. So, I guess we'll start with, uh, start with the big one. The big one is that lockdown is over. Uh, we're easing out of things again. The pubs are opening up. Uh, shopping's coming back. I feel like a, I feel, this feels like deja vu, honestly. Like, we've been through all this before. And as much as I'm excited, I'm not excited because I know what happened the last time. It'd be interesting to see if they do, like, a <laughs> help out to eat out scheme again and we all get fat. <laughs> but, yeah, I tried to... The pub, oh yeah, so the pubs opened last week, are opening next week, so for the bank holiday weekend, which honestly, government such a shout, fair play days. and I was trying to book a table at a pub last night, and oh my god, the headache of trying to get a place, I was on the system, it came live at 6 o'clock, I was sitting watching it, had my laptop and my phone open, ready to like, ready to go, 6 o'clock hit, boom, website crashed, no one could do anything, it all froze, I was sitting there like, oh, this is, this is what it takes to get a pint these days, like, this is what life has come to. You're not going to be able to just nip out anymore. It has to be like a formalized plan, booked, and a big event, which ugh, I think the biggest thing I miss is just how easy life used to be in terms of like, you never thought about all these things. You just, you wanted to go to the pub, you went to the pub. Like, the limit, the numbers weren't limited based on like social distancing. Like, ugh, but oh boy, I cannot wait. I said to Kevin last week, I cannot wait for that first paint back. Big weekend coming next weekend. There's probably be... <laughs> Uh, hopefully it should be a smack talk next week actually but um <laughs> at this stage who knows there's could be a big weekend on the cards next weekend uh i doubt too many people will be wanting to sit down on a sunday or a monday listen to a podcast with the pubs re- <laughs> with the pubs reopening uh but we'll see we'll see how we'll see how it, we'll see how it goes really looking forward to that opening up again like let me know what you're looking forward to opening up as well because man it's been it's been far too long it's been far too long the other big news this week was in sporting world, which I don't talk enough about this because if anyone knows me, I'm a huge sports fan. And I mean, like, I will watch anything, and I mean anything. But uh, the Super League, you have a Super League. Fucking hell, they got this fairly messed that one up. Like, <laughs> I'm laughing because like, I was talking. If you watched the podcast last week, Kevin, Kevin was explaining how like in politics, what they do is they like leak, fu- leak something. I just turned full Mike Tyson there. <laughs> they will leak something. And whenever they leak something, it's sort of like, you know, well, they'll allegedly, I mean, I've learned from Kevin last week that you sort of need to be careful what you say. They allegedly leak something 
to like see what the public perception is of it. And like, yeah, there's been whispers over the European Super League, but like, it never really seemed like it's going to be reality. But they, they didn't like really rumor it. It came out the day that it was going to happen. Then that night, it was all posted that these teams were going to be joining. And how the f- like, how they thought it was a good idea was mental, or how they thought football fans were going to perceive that was mental. Because like, I'm sure you've seen the videos for yourself on Sky and Gary Neville talking about it and all these people, but. To be honest with you, is a European Super League, like, how, even the teams that are in it, Arsenal have, can't qualify for the Champions League, so I don't know what makes them a Super Team. Spurs haven't won a Premier League title in their entire history. I don't I don't understand how, as an Arsenal fan, not only an Arsenal fan, but just in general, how has Spurs become a, a big team? Do you know this big six you hear in the Premier League? Big six. You used to turn on Super Sunday and it'd be the big four. Arsenal, United... Liverpool, Chelsea was a big four. I think I got that right. Yes, that was a big four. And then obviously you get your Man City that came along, which is fair enough, worth millions upon billions of owners. So, you know, you maybe you can make an arm for... F- there's a five, but again, they're not even the biggest club in Manchester, so are they really, you know, a big club? I mean, they're winning trophies, so yeah, I suppose. But Sp- Spurs... Where's the... Where where has Spurs come from? Like... They haven't won anything. They're not a big club. As in... I mean, they're not the biggest club in London. The biggest club in London is Arsenal. And you can go back and forth with whatever way you want in that. The biggest club in London factually is Arsenal. In terms of fan base and just everything else. History, success. I'm pretty sure it's Arsenal. So... Spurs. I don't I don't know. I honestly... I don't know. Where they're, I know yeah, they've got an, a decent team at the minute, but a big club. Mm. Like Spurs fall into that category of sort of like, yeah, fair enough, they're not a mid table team any say anymore, but that's only in the last couple of years. That's really happened. So, I mean, go figure. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the Super League, what a terrible, terrible idea. Like, it would be, I think the theory of it would be cool. It'd be cool to see Arsenal play Real Madrid, say, but. The whole thing that makes Champions League so special is that it happens like once every couple of years and if you're Arsenal you're not in the Champions League so you're not going to play them. And the whole point of then like the way the Europa League has been having so much success lately has been because these teams are using it. These big teams that can't qualify for the Champions League are using it as a format to qualify for the Premier League. or the, They're using the Europa League as a format to qualify for the Europa League and that's what makes it so good. Like that's what's made these competitions good. Like I, like I Not that I don't really enjoy a Thursday night watching the Europa League but Whenever it gets down to the nitty gritty stage, and you're left with like them teams that typically, what well, t- typically happens in the Europa League is the teams that drop out of the Champions League make a deep run, and then you have like them teams that like in the big leagues that like didn't qualify directly for the Champions League. So them teams are always in the hunt at the end. So like, Arsenal played Atletico Madrid a couple of years ago in the semi final, and then played Chelsea in the final. Was it Chelsea in the final? Or I can't remember who they played. Oh no, they got beat. They got beat. That's what happened. But yeah, you get my point. You're just taking away like the competitiveness and like that you have to earn the right to play in these leagues. You have no god given right to go and play in whatever league you want. And I know you've all heard this already, but I, just, I honestly just thought the term "big team" is just thrown around far too lightly at the minute. Like I would say, the biggest teams in the world are Real Madrid, Barcelona, Manchester United. Are your top three? They are the biggest three clubs in the world. Yeah, right. So they're the three biggest. And if anyone comes out and says like United's not the biggest the biggest team in England, you're literally oh god, you're the worst. You're the absolute worst. But then in terms of following the yeah, so you probably have three they're the three biggest. And then after that you've got your likes of like your Arsenal Bayern Munich. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. Arsenal, Bayern Munich, Liverpool's Liverpool's quite close to United in fairness, but United is a big big club. Um I'm trying to think who else, but you get what I'm trying to get it here. Like there's tiers to like the size of these clubs and just putting them all in one big fuck off league is just oh, I don't know. Shite. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's like and I'm not just I sort of thought at the start like it was sort of like it wasn't a terrible idea. But it wasn't a great one, in fairness to them. But yeah, I would be mad. Imagine like imagine all these teams got relegated to like the low league divisions of English football, I actually, even as an Arsenal fan, I would actually, I think they deserve it. So, and if I meant you got your club back, like you got rid of these big like American owners and all these like money grabbing boys, then I mean, 
I mean, yeah, that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. I think that would be. I honestly, I honestly do think it would be a good thing for the for like the game in general. But at the end of the day, it's probably I highly doubt anything's going to happen to it. Like, like they're going to uh, on the flip side of it, like these big big clubs keep using brackets for anyone that's listening to audio. These big clubs, like they're really um. They're really, what's the word I was going to say there? Like, they really are the cash cow for the Premier League. Like, those are the games that the TV channels and all pay the big the big bucks for. Like, they're not paying to let, help, like, let you watch Southampton and Burnley or, you know, these these lower level games. So, I mean, it's just sort of, it's interesting. It's interesting. I'm really, I'm really, really hopeful it doesn't happen. It seems like it's not going to happen. But, I mean, these teams were getting, what was it, offered 3.5 billion, billion to join the league. Like, at the same time, I know I'm saying the same time a lot here. It's hard to turn that money down when you're getting offered three point five billion. People going, "Oh, you're going for the money." Everyone forgets. Like everyone does everything for money. The reason you hate your job and you go in and sit at a desk that you hate and do these things for money. And yeah, there's different amounts, and you be greedy. But like, if you get offered more money to go somewhere else, generally you take it. So, I mean, I'm sure there'll be a few people that disagree with that, but here hopefully it doesn't happen hopefully hopefully it doesn't happen uh, i was just looking at my notes and i've written here like lockdown is over and super league and arsenal are shite and arsenal are shite and that's all i literally have to say on that matter uh, do you know the other thing a lot of people have been getting into i think over like lockdown has been trading a lot of people have gotten into trading and in particular cryptocurrencies and i myself i personally have invested in cryptocurrencies but let me just I personally have invested in cryptocurrency, but what the fuck is a cryptocurrency? <laughs> Somebody please explain this to me. What is a cryptocurrency? I've literally, and I'm not saying I've bumped thousands and thousands into it, even a thousand, I haven't even put that much money into it, but what is a cryptocurrency? And why, why are we all, like I've watched the videos and listened to people explain to what a cryptocurrency is, I still have no idea. Like what is a Bitcoin? What is an Ether, an Ethereum or whatever you call these things? I have no idea. And you just have these like, guru boys on like youtube and these sites being like you need to invest in this one and this might happen and that might happen there's no way i don't care what anyone says there's no way you can predict what's happening in the stock markets like yeah there's trends and there's graphs and there's stuff like that but like it's next i it's at the end of the day you're taking a risk and cryptocurrencies to me are just hilarious because the more i research into them the more i don't have a fucking clue what is going on but at the same time I've made money in a few of them, so I'm sort of like, <laughs> I'm sort of like, here, I better keep this lit because, I mean, it's making money. It's better than sitting in the bank account. But it's it's just mind blowing how like people come up with these concepts. Like a fucking a Bitcoin, one Bitcoin, whatever that even is, is now worth like fifty thousand. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I maybe I'm just being stupid or something. Maybe if someone could explain to me what the fuck. Bitcoin is or like an actual cryptocurrency is and don't just say like oh it's a type of currency that you can like you know, trade with like where does it come from like if I go down to the Royal Mint I can go down and see what a fiver is you know what I mean or like if I'm investing in something if I invest in say Tesla I can see their products that they're making and like if I like what they're doing and their vision for the future is I think that company will grow then I'll invest in it but what is a cryptocurrency what does it even mean <laughs> it's uh yeah <laughs> I'm not I don't know I honestly don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna keep fucking laughing at myself because I'm just sitting here like people are just willingly putting their money into these things and like I, d- I just don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and then the final big thing is this year I've decided I'm gonna return back to the GA. The GA. And uh <laughs> Oh yeah. Knocks, bruises, first train session back, I got the absolute shit kicked out of me. <laughs> and I mean the shit kicked out of me, probably rightfully so. Because I haven't trained for anyone doesn't know. I haven't trained for like a couple of years. I think I'll go back this year. Feeling, you know, like I could actually compete and like do well. And feeling like oh, that's what I want to do. So I went back and... <sighs> Jesus. Forget how like the knocks and scrapes and bruises and hits you get. Like you're so wrapped in bubble wrap when you're not doing any like contact competitive sports. You like... The only interest you get is if you do something fucking stupid. Like really, really stupid. Uh... Like go for a run, <laughs> but yeah, 
I don't really know what else to say here. I'm really like lost for words. I wanted to get something up for everybody and, uh, you know, keep the weekly podcast going here. And I hope I haven't just sort of rambled on and talked about absolute shit. I'm trying to think what else has gone on. It's sort of, it's just so weird. Like, it's so weird because I've gotten so used to it. It used to be the fact that I used to come on and really enjoy doing the solo ones because they just rattle them out. But now it's gotten to the stage where like, I just like having some, I like having some to talk to over there. It's just, it's, it's nice. It is nice. Uh, I can't lie. But I think this is a good, it's a good way to catch up. A good way for me to just sit down with everyone and say like, look, this is what's going on. Here's something for the future, which is going to be more guests. Uh, keep pushing out the content. Keep grinding it out. Uh, I'm now, I've now started a job. I'm working nine to half five and uh, no excuses. It's, uh, we're going to the moon with this thing. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, I think there's a fight happening tonight as well. Now, just a, a thought on the topic. I think Mazadal's fighting Usman. Going through a bold claim out here. Usman takes it. Mazadal gets his first. Mazadal gets knocked out for the first time ever. Uh, I might actually throw that clip up tonight. See what everyone. See what everyone thinks. But uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it, lads and ladies. If you've enjoyed, let me know what you thought. Again, I, it's been a bit of a ramble session, but it's a good way. It's a good way for me to catch up and throw everything out there. In terms of stand-up, actually, for the future, uh, it looks like pubs are going to open uh, fairly soon. So hopefully that means, you know, social distance stand-up and stuff. If you just watch it, Darren. Darren offered me a few spots back in uh, when he had me on the podcast. He hosts a few places. So I'll be I'll be up and I'll be about and I'll be doing things. So if you want to come if you want to come see that, please do. Keep an eye on the, keep an eye on my personal page. That's where everything goes for that. Uh, I don't think I put too much stuff for Smack Talk on the page. But uh, fuck, I am actually a dose. I'm saying I'm wrapping this up. The amount of things that has happened here, hang on. Basically, if anyone follows the page and you listen to me, I had that. Cl- I made a, I made an Instagram page, right? So I made an Instagram page with the purpose of I'm just looking at it here. So I made an Instagram page and I put up a post. The first post was you know start a new page. Da 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 da. Next one I was like you know what I put up like I put up a clip uh, like a funny clip or something I got there. So whenever I was talking to Park, I was talking about the girls clip. I threw it up. And next thing, like the page starts not blowing up, but like you know. There's a lot of eyeballs going on it and getting these likes and views and stuff I got on a, a DM from someone. I was like, what the hell is this? So I looked, and sure fucking doesn't gals from Jordy Shore, who I was talking about in the video, share the clip. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's like, I was freaking out. I, was, I don't think I've talked about this. I was running around my house literally like, no, like, what what the clean fuck? I don't want people getting it twisted. Like, I'm not... Like, I, in the clip, I'm talking about how, like, Gals was, like, the big deal back in the day. But, like, I'm not, like, a super huge Gals fan, like, anymore. Or, like, or, like anything like that. Even though I am in the Pulling Squad now. Uh, <laughs> but he shared it to his story. And, like, must being, like, oh, my God, it's hilarious. Or, like, this definitely happened or something like that. And I was, like, what the fuck? This page has, like, ten likes. I've put up two clips. And now people are coming on and saying it. Like, let me just, let me just go for an occasion here. This is what's so funny. So that video has over four thousand over four thousand views, right? Uh, it reached yeah, so it reached over four thousand people, right? Five hundred people went and visited my thing off that my page off that, and there was one other post that just said I'd started this page. I now have thirty two posts on the page, so I guess in hindsight it would have been better to build up the fucking page before doing that, Sean. You gobshite. But oh, it's just it's mad. The, like the power of the internet. And, like, how he even seen that is mind-blowing. I think I actually tagged him in it, but it was, like, tagged him in it so people knew who it was on about. Joe, if they didn't, if you didn't know who Gals was. And, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, me and Gals are best friends. <laughs> me and Gals are best friends now. <laughs> and I'm in the pulling squad. Fucking up the boys. If, if this happened to me whenever I was 16 now, there, then there would have been a scene. But at the same time, I was freaking out because I was, like, why the hell is someone with, like, over a million followers messing me on my page and sharing it to the story <laughs> little, little smack talk and me at the big time and since then it's all been downhill no I'm only joking <laughs> I'm only joking it hasn't really but um yeah uh, I just thought that was wild like it was good timing because I just launched the page but at the same time it was fucking terrible terrible time because it was nothing else for anyone to be like oh yeah I'll follow this guy because he's funny and or like or like I like his podcast and he's got all these clips up and stuff yeah, weird, 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 weird. But uh, I think we're coming up. What's that? Twenty five minutes now. I've rambled on for. This is the most amount of talking I have done probably on one of these podcasts ever, where I've just spent twenty five minutes chatting away to myself. 
and it's weird i don't know if i like it if you liked it let me know but i find them very very strange uh, and it's ho- it's difficult you know to talk to yourself i've said it to a few people but uh, hopefully next week we'll be back with the guests as well uh if you do if you did enjoy you guys leave a like or something leave a like for me i would really appreciate it if you're listening in audio only format uh gives me sure let me know what episodes you've enjoyed uh leave a wee mention over on the instagram page or something like that i really i really appreciate all the people that do that uh honestly things you absolutely love to see is that and yeah that's gonna do it for this week uh hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode of smack talk and i'll see you all again I, I'm, I'm looking around because i'm looking around if you're watching some video for i'm looking around because i don't know what to do myself i'm like if you've enjoyed what do i do here if you've enjoyed uh tell your friends do something i really appreciate it uh i'm being super awkward now and i'm freaking out so i'll see you all again in the next one goodbye god bless see you later <laughs>